Hey my friends, what's happening? Action Figure Junkie back with you with something different, something interesting, something unique. So um, I wanted to feature a video of just my OG13 custom Marauder action figures. I asked you guys if you thought it'd be a good idea and several of you said, hell yeah, do it. So I'm doing it, I am just to please. And I thought, what better way to feature them than actually put them in a cool pose instead of just, you know, having them sit on a spinning little record player or whatever that thing is I got. So let's check them out. Here they are. Check out this OG crew. These were the first original third. These are custom modern, custom modern updated representations of the first original 13 G.I. Joes released. Ones that were featured heavily in the first um, year or two of the comic book. And the ones that uh, were the basic... Green shirts that you could buy on the uh, store toy pegs in uh, Gemco or, you know, Target or Toys R Us or wherever you were back in 1983. All right, so let's start. Check it out. Who's this bad boy? That is my current modern updated version of Short Fuse. Don't worry, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say that every single time. Just these are all current modern updated versions. That is Short Fuse. Now, Short Fuse was the, uh, the mortar, the mortar soldier. He had that cool mortar. Like the uh, the uh, the thing that that blew up the tower that the drill sergeant climbed to in the top of stripes and knocked him off. Now you guys know what I'm talking about. So I thought, what better way to update him than give him this really cool, big, you know, powerful howitzer? I think it is, or you know, something else like that. But nobody's really uh, rolling into the field in 2019 with mortars. Um, this is much more technically proficient, much more updated for a modern era. And who's that bad boy back there? Oh yeah. That is a current updated version of Breaker. Now with Breaker, I went with a little old school, a little new school. He's got that cool, like Vietnam era communications backpack I got with World Keepers uh, Battle, uh, World, Keep, World Peacekeepers Battle Play set. I thought it would look perfect on him. But he's also got like three different modern cell phones on him. So if somebody needs his radio in a call, it's still Breaker who they go to. And next time I pose him in a picture, I'm going to put a piece of pink Play-Doh in his mouth so it looks like he's chewing on a bubblegum. Who's that back there? Just did a recent video on him. Steeler. He was the Mobat pilot. This is a very basic figure that I think works very well. I had to put him in some kind of vehicle so he'd feel right at home. Who do we got over there? Zap. I really like this figure. Zap was the uh, bazooka soldier or rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it. The first original one, in my humble opinion, much better than bazooka. The uh, guy who wore a football jersey into battle. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. I'm a huge G.I. Joe and Hasbro fan, but as any good G.I. Joe Hasbro fan, we have our opinions. We have our figures that we love and figures we don't like. I didn't love bazooka. I did love Zap. I put Zap, um, I gave him a big giant rocket launcher. I think it came with a, co with a, with a uh, Pursuit of Cobra uh, Viper, and I thought it fit him quite well. He sports that thing with a passion. Flash, duh. Now I went with the orange armor on Flash. This is a current uh, version of Flash instead of the, uh, you know, the, the, the reddish orange armor. I didn't want to do red, I really liked the orange. It just kind of popped more on the green. But he's got his uh, his laser rifle. He's got the the basically what's cool about this guy is the 25th anniversary, which he is um, based on, has the weapon of and the head and helmet of, had the exact same weapon pretty much as the OG original 1983 Flash. So I love posing my Flash with his 1983 laser rifle. I mean, it's it's still science fiction because soldiers aren't rolling into battle with laser rifles. So it doesn't really matter if it's 1973, 1963 or, you know, 2033, it's a laser rifle. I love it. Team leader, baby, Hawk. Now this Hawk is more modeled on the 1986 slash 25th anniversary version. When Hawk originally came out, he was a blondie. Uh, featured prominently in the first uh, several years, first few years, at least, of the comic book, when he was a, uh, was he a major or a colonel? I'm sorry, I forget. Hit me up, let me know. When he got promoted to general, he let Duke kind of take the field leadership, but uh, then came back in full force 
I'd say in you know in the mid 80s and then of course with the 25th anniversary so this hawk is that version not so much the original version but more of a modern version this guy will still roll into battle in my Joe Uverse right up next to uh, Duke and Flint original heavy machine gunner rock and roll now this version is heavily influenced by the original rock and roll I custom made those two bandolier belts that go around his chest He's got the blonde hair and the beard. I gave him a bit more. I like the cool, the ball cap. I think it, the baseball cap, I think looks way cooler than um, the, the, the cone, hel the, the uh, clamshell helmet and the, the other hats. Th this is my rock and roll. And you see him from a mile away. If you're a G.I. Joe fan, you know who that guy is. Uh, we're going to go up here, up top now. Stalker. Peek this guy. I love him. Now, I was a big fan of Stalker. always have been in almost every iteration incarnation i've just i dig stalker he's just got a cool vibe he was a badass dude in the cartoon he was a badass dude in the comic book one of the few uh, gi joe characters that i think was pretty much just as cool in both uh medias he was awesome in the comic he was awesome in the cartoon this one has the uh i want to say pursuit of cobra awesome dreads and the green beret but then the suit that the body i went with is more modeled on the original Stalker with the uh, all green, with that cool uh, kind of, you know, dark green camo. Simple, basic, but this is one of my favorite figures. I'd never part with this cat. This one is a bit more difficult to tell. Maybe I should take him out. I think he, f he, he would feel right at home, man in that 30 caliber. This is my modern updated version of Grunt. Now, if you're wondering, you can maybe you can tell if you're a hardcore action figure fan, I went and took the Marvel Universe Punisher head, added a little facial hair and a scar and put some glasses on so it's not immediately recognizable as the Punisher. But if you can think back to the 1983 version of Grunt, that dude had a sour puss face on. <laughs> the guy in the comic book was not a grumpy puss. He was just, you know, a regular cat, regular normal dude. But... I loved the original figure Grunt because he looked like he was just always having a bad day. Looked like the Joe you wouldn't necessarily want to take to a bar as a wingman. So it's like if I'm going to make a current version of Grunt, I don't mind him looking like a bit of a cranky puss, badass. Please don't knock anybody over. All right, cool. If somebody, if everybody stayed up perfectly still, it wouldn't quite be an action figure junkie video. Grand Slam back here. He might not be too easy to tell because I decided to go against the silver and I went with gray. I could do silver. I still even have a silver backpack uh, vest. I'm just so on the fence. I think the gray is a bit more realistic. That was a choice I went with. I stand by it. I could possibly put on silver, but it's just a bit too flashy. If you remember, the original Grand Slam was identical to Flash. He had the same reddish orange armor. They were literally the same figure with different heads. Well, that you know that that was a different time. Plastic molds weren't easy to make. This is a different world, so I decided I wanted some variety. Get him in focus. There we go, baby. The original Grand Slam didn't come with the jetpack. That was the second version, if you can remember, in 1983. Have I been saying 1983 this whole time? You guys, you got to come correct, Shh, action figure junkie. It was 1982, dude. They were all re-released in 1983 with the swivel arm battle grip, and that's probably where I'm, I'm uh, drawing a blank, because I feel like I got most of my figures in 83. I got my first in 82, my second in 82, but then um, the majority of my figures I got in 83, I was a little older, had a little bit more uh, allowance money, and the swivel arm battle grip made all the difference in the world. So the second version of Grand Slam, he came with the jet pack uh, and the, the silver armor. So this is that's who this is molded after. I love this figure. We're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna save the best for last. Okay, now this guy was one of my absolute favorite figures in the comic book. He seemed to have the most character development in the first few years of the show, of the of the comic book. He had his own personal story where he went back home to uh, Asbury Park, New Jersey, which uh, some of you may know that's where the boss Bruce Springsteen is from. I just thought he was a very, very cool character. Always hitting on the ladies. Always getting shot down, but he never gave up. Told Grease Monkey, this is my clutch. And instead of, uh, I don't, I don't really do the current, I don't really do the G.I. Joe vehicles much anymore. I kind of make my own G.I. Joe vehicles. 
This is a uh, Elite Force Humvee, which fits all these characters 100% perfect to a T. So I'm like, well, in the current world we live in, you're not really going to see these guys rolling into battle in a vehicle that doesn't have doors or a roof. No offense to the vamp, because I had one and I friggin' loved it and I played it until, until uh, the wheels fell off. But I, uh, I'm updating. So, Clutch drives a Humvee. And he drives it like nobody's business. The only female of the first original 13 in 1982, or 83, depending on when you bought them, this is my Scarlet. This Scarlet is kind of an amalgam of most Scarlets made over the, over the history. I couldn't really make a Scarlet that looked exactly like the original one because there's just, it's just, uh, you know, the, the, the underwear outside of the leotard, uh, I, ah, uh, I like my figures to be have a, a bit more, you know, tactile look to them. So she does have the uh, Shryuken throwing stars on her left forearm, which I got. I was inspired by one of the one Scarlet made over the years. I don't know. I really made this figure based on nearly every Scarlet <laughs> I've ever seen. I really did love her. She was kick-ass, awesome. And that's my Scarlet. So this guy should be self-explanatory. That's Scarlet's boo right there. It's not Duke. If you're a cartoon fan, it was Duke. If you're a comic book fan, it was Snake Eyes. But this is my version of the original Snake Eyes Commando. One of the very first figures I made, and as soon as I figured out I can make custom figures like original G.I. Joe, I couldn't wait to make my own Snake Eyes. Now, yeah, I did give him a sword. I do have a blue one I made that does not have a sword. Maybe we'll cruise over here real quick. Oh, uh, there we go. This is a very loyal version of the, uh, the original comic book and maybe even the cartoon because I feel like the tint when they drew him always had a blue tint. So maybe I should have put that one in the picture. He does not have a sword, but they are identical pretty much. They're pretty much the exact same. So yeah, that's my, uh, I got two basic original Snake Eyes. One that's a bit more um, hmm, comic book accurate and one that's a bit more action figure accurate. So these are my OG 13, man. I hope you guys like them. I really appreciate you watching. They are fun to pose. They are fun to play with. They are fun to look at. Um, G.I. Joe fan for life, man. I, I Maybe I'll do one of my class of 1984. Oh, this is this is the biggest grouping I have of any one year because I got all of them. I think that's the only year I got every figure because in every other year there was a couple figures I was not big on. But I love these guys. So please feel free to uh, hit me up with a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see any more of them in any more prominence, let me know. Like and subscribe. Do all that goodness that all those people ask you to do on YouTube. Follow me on the socials. Action Figure Junkie. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, Reddit, wherever. I appreciate you watching. You guys all have a wonderful day. Uh, should we do it? Uh, you know I always have it handy. How do we wrap these babies up?